The Documented Border Project is an innovative, interdisciplinary project that involves the School of Journalism, the University of Arizona Special Collections, and the School of Art. And what we're doing with that is creating an open access digital archive that we think is very unique. It'll have pieces of oral histories that uh, my colleague Janine Relly and I are collecting, as well as artist renderings from our Operation Streamline. This would be from, from where I'm sitting. These are uh, defendants waiting to be called. Celeste, so both and I very early on had an idea that part of the archive should be people that are doing work uh, exposing, like shining light on an area that hadn't been lit before. She decided to do that on, on her end with the journalists and I just wanted to give the people that were in that courtroom some kind of a face. Uh, here's the one that was caught cross crossing, I did make a note, caught crossing in Douglas to attempt to visit his newly born daughter. But I got a good shot of his face for quite a while. He was, he was uh, about 15, 20 minutes in the same place. And this was one of the first drawings I did. So since 2011, we've been researching this topic and looking at how um, the violence has changed the practice of journalism on both sides of the border, how that violence has changed the way journalists are able to publish or not able to publish. So that's the focus of, of our piece of the archive, is really capturing what we think is an unprecedented time in history. Part of our job is to anticipate, you know, what things might become history worthy. You read about how journalists are being killed or kidnapped, but to hear the stories of the people working just right alongside us, right here on the border, right here locally, um, is what gives me chills. It'll be completely open to the public. I mean, that was one of the first things that we wanted to, to ensure, that anybody could be able to access the images, the oral histories through audio, and there will be transcripts as well. You know, when you see the great big wall, you know, right in your backyard, as I see it now in my little town, it creates this need to tell the story beyond what the national media shows, you know. And so if we can capture the primary sources that will tell that story for generations, I feel like we've, we're doing our, our work.